All right, man, behind the scenes, we just rolled into our next one. You gonna show everybody what we brought with us? I think it's time to show them. This is the second time it's been on the job. Check that out, 120's here again. You bet we ain't got the drum roll today. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me, uh, let's walk over the hill here and we'll uh, show you what we got this morning. So here's what we're tackling this morning. We got a camp here and we got a camp there. There's basically a ditch that goes down between them. And as you guys can see, it is washing out, making a mess out of everything. There's a hole there. I don't know how deep that hole is, but I'm pretty sure you'd probably disappear if we put you down in it. I would disappear in that hole. I took a look at it. <laughs> we got a bunch of water that comes off the state highway up there and comes down through here and somewhere, somehow, somewhere it found its way down the ground and it's uh, making tunnels and all kinds of neat little paths. So our plan is we're gonna clean out some of this smaller brush. We may take out one larger tree or two. We're gonna build a little bit of a retention area there, put a pipe in and then let that water get piped to the river so it stops causing all this trouble. So you ready to get started? I'm ready. Let's do it. Don't she just look pretty sitting there all work ready, all cleaned out, nice. Easy now, she's eager to go. Amazing the thumb strength difference between this machine and the other one. I probably got twice the thumb strength. Right? Oh, watch what I'm doing here. We can't scratch the new machine. I probably could have got the majority of this done. The 304 mini excavator. There's just a few tasks up here that uh, were going to be too big a task for it. So we just decided to haul the 120 in. We was actually out on a job today with a 140. So both machines are running today, so that plan's going well. Pay attention to what I'm doing here. Let's see if we can reach out there and grab those. Come here, you little three. I got campers on both sides of me. Uh, we're being a reaching distance. Pay a little bit of attention to what I'm doing here. There we go. Beautiful. of right now 120 is doing great uh, i don't know if you heard him come across the radio the only thing he didn't do is put fuel in it before we came so he's on the phone right now making a phone call try to get some fuel ran out real quick and uh i think he's gonna finish getting all these little trees out and then we're gonna move on to this bad boy and take it out
much better looking than the old uh, Volvo, but uh, just like me and Mr. Dark Harvey, like I'm better looking than him. I think it's gonna it's gonna miss the boat if you can go right down that ditch and hold it to the other side of that little washout. You think it's going to miss the boat? Your, your confidence is uh, really encouraging. I got a I got a great I got a great idea. You ready for this, man behind the scenes? Why don't you stand between the tree and the boat and show me how confident you really are that it's going to miss the boat? Laugh, laugh. No, I'm right in line with the boat. I feel confident. Oh, you're close to the line with the boat. You're 15 feet to the west. All right. All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I need to get me some stickers made so you got something better looking to something that's a little better looking you can stare at. Ready? I'm getting ready to Alright, we're ready. I want you to look at this. If you would have listened to me, you could have pushed that tree straight over without having to do any more digging. You're gonna find this hard to believe. I don't always trust you. That's the problem with people. They need to learn how to trust me. But uh, yeah, we're about 20 foot from the boat. Your man behind the scenes not longer wait. <laughs> God taught longer wait everything he knows, and that's no joke. Right, guys 120 is doing awesome i gotta get i gotta get these two out of the job somewhere and do a comparison between it and the volvo uh it blows it away on thumb strength no comparison whatsoever and uh crowd strength it's got considerably more crowd strength lifting strength and curl probably about the same but uh that's just what i feel from the seat we'll have to get her we'll have to actually do a test someday whenever i get time who knows when that'll be but anyway we're gonna cut this up into. I uh, ripped all the uh, ripped all the limbs off of it. We're gonna cut this up into like eight foot pieces, and we're actually gonna make a burn pile over in that region there. So, uh, man behind the scenes is running the chainsaw, 
And uh, yeah, that's the plan. So man, behind the scenes, Aaron down here, he was sitting here talking about how he did this offset cut and how that fell just like he planned. And he learned that from nuts 319. So we'll walk around here. Um, did you learn? Did you learn that from nuts 319 too? No. You know where I slacked that? Watched him cut the lambs off. <laughs> you shouldn't have fast forwarded through that part of the video. I didn't really fast forward it, through it. I went to get me a drink out of the fridge. When I came back, I guess he done had all that fridge. Hey, I'm just impressed you paid attention for part of it. I did the main part, yes I did. Don't worry, I have this beautiful machine here and we'll get you unstuck. Yeah, and like I was saying, you're saying, well, I didn't have to break it off, but I was trying to tell you why I need to practice because there might be a day I ain't got a machine here. Uh, Should be you got a machine here today. Yeah. I'm backing up on the work. <laughs> He's trying to talk his way out of this one, but it ain't happening. Alright, in we go. scenes we got the majority of the trees cleaned up we got a little brush pile over there we'll deal with that tomorrow and uh, we got our chainsaw sharp we got one tree left it's a red oak tree it's got the top out of it it's got this big ugly limb in it and it's got to go in that hole right there we need a logger wade where's logger yeah. wade when you need him or nutsy 319 nutsy went back home a little too early anybody but us yeah <laughs> so we're going to attempt to be loggers and the good news is the guy that owns the camp is the director of the power company 
So if it goes that way, at least we got a friend in that direction. Yeah, it's but uh, not favoring these that people way. are not overly happy we're cleaning trees out, so I'm guessing they won't be happy if we get one on their cabin. Oh, camper. probably not. So, channel or inner longer way, nutsy combination here, and uh, see what happens. Hey, we could post this video and uh, see what they say to do, then come back and cut the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two months later. Sometimes you just gotta know when to throw in towel, man, behind the scenes. Me and that chain are not friends. It's kind of like leaving the job unfinished, though. Well, I'd rather leave the job unfinished than leave that tree on that camper because that Saul does not like me. Saul likes me as the chain. We got a pickup truck. We just run back to shop and get one real quick. We don't have one. <laughs> so here's the plan. We're gonna call it here for today. Head back to shop. I got another chain up shop. I should have brought it with me. This is where management should have been on the ball and brought uh, I was. brought extra chains. I was. It would have been good. So. I was. We will see you guys in the morning with a new chain and a new game plan. Yeah, I think, um, I'm not positive, but I think the, the best way is tracking over from Steve. So, uh, and, uh, I'm trying to find the one. Uh, <laughs> that, that is true i did have all that you're telling me that that's a new chain it was so you used it down there in the no rocks no way two cuts and it shot hey, to be continued all right man behind the scenes it's a new day in rocky point we got us a new chain on the saw which is cutting good it is cutting good we got uh we'll take it down there in a minute we got our brush pile on fire this morning but uh we're back to this animal you ready to tackle this thing? It's ready to for me. All right, so give you guys a recap. The top is out of it. It's a red oak tree. The top's out of it, but it's got one limb right there. We're afraid if it hits that limb, it may force it to roll into that camper. So we're gonna try to drop it right beside there where it misses it, but I think we're gonna take the bucket of the excavator and just kind of set it over there. So that way if it hits the ground and bounces that way, it'll at least uh, bounce off the bucket, not the camper. Yeah. I hate to put uh, my I hate to put my 120 in danger. It's the first job. Yeah. Technically the second job, but the first real job. We already have some unhappy campers. Yeah. <laughs> no camper pun intended. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, think they'll be any happier if we hit their camper. So. No. All right, you ready? I'm ready.
foot from the camper now we got some happy campers this red oak tree out most of this stump popped right out I, this uh i don't know this tree was in pretty bad shape i don't know if i had to guess the water line is like right there i assume they, they put the water line in they cut all the roots to it and uh killed it hopefully this don't go underneath the water line all right i don't see any water coming up but uh that'd be my guess the bottom portion is uh rotten top portion is rotten but there's two logs in there we're gonna save for either firewood or maybe some capital clean on the floor. We go to the Jaeger materials barge up the river. I don't know why it's just cool sitting here watching it go by. But uh, we're gonna work our way down to the uh, burn pile with all this stuff. And once we get that to the burn pile and get it all cleaned up, from there we will uh, hopefully start installing our pipe. So let me get our mess cleaned up here and we'll see what we got. It's no let's dig 18 fire but she's uh she's pretty hot for a lot of green stuff and she's burning pretty good so we're gonna let that uh let that burn away for a while we got this over here pretty much got the last of it on there we let that fire burn down a little bit and then we threw that uh, last red oak tree and the other stuff on there so we pretty much finally got our path cleared to put our pipe in this girl here has got about six hours on her now and uh Got a few squeaks, so we're gonna get a little grease on it. Make sure she's good to grow. We just put new pins and bushings in. We can't let them run themselves, but we had a guy stop by the dairy market the other day and gave us this grease. Said it's the best there is, so we saved it for the 120 because she's the best we got. I think you got a hydraulic leak up there too somewhere. You see it? Mm -hmm. I noticed for? it running down. I don't. Uh, it's probably one that you forgot to tighten. If I had to take a wild guess. Of course it's my fault. But uh curious uh Paragon 3000 grease. I forgot what the price was on this, but it wasn't cheap. But it's supposed to be good. Curious what you guys use. We usually use uh Lawson or Lucas Red and Tacky. Yep. Served me pretty good over the years, so I'll let you grease. I'll figure out what our hydraulic leak is and we'll get back to work. I got my hydraulic leak fixed. Somebody forgot to tighten this fitting right here. Yeah, I was on the other side when we put them hoses back oh, on. Gosh, dang it. Because I caught you not putting O-rings in them too. And then you said, oh, I'm not gonna worry about uh, one. I'm probably gonna edit this part out. Why? You're right. No, don't edit it, I like that. Can you reach that? You need some help? Look at you stretch, look at yeah. you go. <laughs> That's so mean. Hey, I got a fire I need to throw together. You can't hurt me with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us need to work. I'll work as a team. 
I'm not an I, I, I player. What would uh, somebody tell me the other day? There's no I in team, but there sure is a me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got the fire. We got this old girl grease. We got our hydraulic leak fixed. We got the fire going over there. We're going to start digging the trench for our pipe here, but uh, I'm afraid we may have some problems. I think the old 120 here, the old girl is going, it's uh, slowly losing a drive motor on the final. I don't know for sure what's going on yet. I haven't had time to get off and diagnose it. It don't really matter at this point if we didn't get this job done. So we're going to try our best to whimper through, at least get this pipe in, and get her back to the shop and get her back in tip top shape because we put way too much money and effort into this thing. I have a final drive now, but uh, I can't get mad at this machine. It's like I said the day before I pulled it out of the shop. It's got original engine, original pump, original drive motors. It's only fair that something goes out, so. It's still digging, boys and girls. It's, she's still digging. She hasn't gave up on me yet. Get this trench dug. We'll start getting this pipe laid and uh, see what we got. Man, this thing digs good. I miss you, 120. Mm -hmm. one, one track will drive, the other track will not. It's all right. I've got this big crutch up here that'll help me get where I need to go. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're still chugging along here. I pretty much lost everything in this one track. It's just free wheeling. I've kind of been uh, just stacking some dirt in front of it, kind of like a chalk. But we have hit some pretty serious rocks coming up through here. This one here being the. Uh, here is a. Uh, Definitely not a two pounder. That's a big rock. That's a big rock. Somebody moving. Why? I'm not sure if that thing don't go all the way down to Rocky Point. Oh, I have taken care of it. Hopefully, we can rest the last thing up out of there somehow. Got rock fishing. Look, that come off your hands up there.
All right, we got, uh, we've went the old girl through uh, most of the ditch. <laughs> she's still going, she's still digging. Don't give up on her yet. We got the uh, first piece of pipe in, got a little bit of dirt thrown on it. Somebody forgot the Don dish soap again. Well, we got some pipe slime. Pipe slime, is that yeah. is it coming in tubes like that? Yeah. That's funny because that pipe slime, it fits right in my grease gun. It is. <laughs> I could probably get that grease gun and use that grease gun. <laughs> oh. I don't know who this guy is out there on a boat, but I'd rather be him. That's actually Reckless Ralph. He's been in a few videos. Alright, he's going to try to push that pipe from up there using the teeth. Hopefully we can get her locked together. There we go. It's going. It's going. More? Yeah, a little bit more. All right, that's it, that's it. If you look right here, I'm trying to show you this. These, these here are marked home. So what you wanna do is you wanna drive that bell all the way up to home. You wanna drive it home. All right, now I'm gonna get out of his way so he can start covering with uh, dirt because the uh, way it's looking right now, not sure what's wrong, but we have a good idea, but the track is not doing the greatest. So he wants to kind of cover as we go now. So, uh, and he's hoping he can make it back up the hill so we can finish laying all this pipe. Now, there's my piece of equipment. I'd be too nervous to keep going. I'd be shutting down and, uh, and getting it fixed right away. see you get one two four ribs and a half before you hit home so that basically the bell when it bottoms out that's you, you can just read the home on it All right, guys, before I get a thousand comments on, I'll go ahead and address it. The squeaking you hear in a boom from time to time is not actually a pin on bushing squeaking. It's actually the shims on the main boom pin. Uh, hindsight being 2020, maybe we should have worked a little bit of grease up between them and prevented that. But uh, nevertheless, over time, it should take care of itself. Uh, it'll get some grease up in there. You can actually make it quit with a little bit of uh, penetrating oil. So hopefully that makes sense and uh, that explains explains that noise you're hearing from time to time but what uh as you guys will see here in a little bit what aaron and i kind of end up deciding to do and um, a couple different things made our decision i limp my way back up the hill here i'm actually going to dig out for one more section of pipe and uh, basically just make the call that uh, the two what happened was the two neighbors down uh, the road here they decided they wanted to do some work on their property and this owner we we're working on here as well decided he wanted to do more work on his property so at this point, it's pretty clear that we are not going to be able to get done with this machine. So we kind of limper to the top of the hill and uh, and decide that uh, we're going to make the call to get the Volvo in here to finish her up. <sighs> bummer, 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 bummer. So this, this is where we're going to end it at. We got 120 feet of pot to put in here. And we got 80 of it in. Still got uh, 40 more to go i could probably limp the 120 through get this pipe in i'm pretty sure the damage is already done i don't want to make it any worse and we have some other work to do here as well including clean up our burn pile clean some stumps off the river bank and then do some red wrap rock work around that we still got to build a small retention area here so it's just not going to happen with the 120 uh, with the final drive out of it. So we got her limp to the top of the hill so we can get her hauled out of here. And uh, so I know somebody's going to comment, well, if you would have brought the Volvo, it wouldn't have broke down. Well, ironically, it's sitting on another job broke down as well. Uh, you guys will have to 
go to Captain Clemens' channel and get the details on that one, uh, what's happening with it. But uh, Aaron took off to Evansville to get parts for the Volvo because we can get it fixed faster. Then we can get this girl fixed. And uh, yeah, this is not how I wanted this video to end, but uh, this is how she's gonna end. I guess the next video with the 120. Unfortunately, we'll be back in the shop, but uh, guys, I still can't complain. This thing digs amazing, man. It was so awesome to be back in the seat of this thing. Oh my goodness. It was absolutely awesome. The good news is none of the work we did broke. Everything we did was holding up awesome. Engine's not leaking oil. Boom's tight. Oh, it's awesome. Final drive, I had nothing to do with that. I mean, it's got a lot of hours on it. Uh, it's time was up. It had timed out, folks. It timed out. So, anyways, we're going to wrap this one up here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, we shall catch you on the next one, which will hopefully be back here with the Volvo. Finishing up that. See you then.